The Dynamics 365 Field Service Mobile App is a standalone mobile app purpose-built for field service scenarios. It's designed to aid technicians as they travel to various customer locations each day and complete work orders and other tasks. It features a modern and intuitive interface and offline capabilities that allow technicians to keep working and viewing job details even when there is no internet access. The app is created and maintained by Microsoft and built on Microsoft's Power Platform. This means the same admin experience to manage field service web is used to manage and configure the mobile app, creating efficiency and consistency. Let's take a look at using and configuring the mobile app. First, download the app from your device's app store. In this example, we are on an iPhone in the Apple iOS app store. Search for Field Service Dynamics 365 and find and download the Orange app. Once it's done, launch the app and sign in with your Dynamics 365 Field Service credentials. If you have been scheduled work orders, you will see them in the Bookings tab. After logging in as a technician, you will be taken to the Bookings tab by default. Here you will see work orders and other jobs scheduled for today. You can also see these jobs in a daily or weekly view and view the schedule for other days as needed. When you are ready to begin your work order, simply select a booking and more information will display. First thing you may do is set the status to traveling to indicate you are going to the next job. In the Customers tab, you will see the account name and the customer's location on a map. Selecting Get Directions will trigger the device's navigation app. Once on site, you will change the status to In Progress. In the Service tab, you can see more information that describes what the job entails. In this example, this work order is for a fire extinguisher inspection, and you can begin filling out the inspection form. The inspection guides technicians through various questions about the asset, like a checklist, measurement readings, photos and videos, and more. You can then mark the inspection as completed when you're done. Back on the work order, you can also note products that are used as part of the service. And note the number of units used and billed, as well as the warehouse it came from. The same is true for service. You can note how long to bill for labor as part of the service visit. At the bottom, you can trigger actions. One important action is an integration with Dynamics 365 Remote Assist. When selected, the Remote Assist application opens and queues up the appropriate support contact to call. This allows you to collaborate with experts that are in other locations to resolve the issue. Back in the Field Service mobile app, Another important feature is the ability to attach files, pictures, and videos to the work order. This helps to build service history for the customer and for internal purposes. After work is performed, the customer can sign off with a digital signature from the work order form. When the job is done, you can change the status to completed. This lets the back office know that the job is complete and initiates any subsequent business processes, such as the send of a customer survey link or a manager's review. In the main menu, you can trigger offline mode that downloads any data you may need when there is no internet access. This allows you to continue working. You will see a list of entities that are downloaded. Back in the main menu, you will see various information related to on-site service. Examples are accounts, contacts, assets and IoT devices, the ability to record time entries, and more. Next let's show how to configure the Field Service mobile app for your business needs. When you install Field Service or upgrade to the latest version, Administrators will see a new model-driven app called Field Service Mobile. 
The first thing you need to do is ensure the app is assigned to the security roles who need it. Select the Field Service Mobile Model Driven App, select Options, and choose Manage Roles. Select the Field Service Security Roles and other roles that need access to the mobile app and the configurations that we are about to make. One of the most common configurations to the Field Service Mobile app is editing the home screen. As you can see to the right, the home screen is the list of entities displayed on the main screen of the mobile app. In your web browser, go to the Field Service Mobile model driven app and select Options, then Open an App Designer. The home screen is referred to as the app's sitemap. Select the pencil icon to edit the sitemap. Here you can see a horizontal view of the Field Service Mobile app's home screen, from bookings at the top to time entries at the bottom. As an example, let's add the warehouse entity to the home screen. Select sub area and drag it to where you want the new entity to be located. For type, select entity, but note you can add more than just entities to the sitemap, like links to websites and dashboards. In this case, we will choose warehouse.